Tekereza ko icyo Yesu yavugaga hariya umutima She truly demonstrates the love of God. I've heard people talk about what it means to have a Christian heart. And, and Onela exemplifies it best. Don't get me wrong, she's not perfect. Right? I don't want you looking at every action she does trying to catch her sleep. But every day, on Onela wakes up ready to make herself better than the day she was before. She makes me more proud than I could ever say to be her sister. All right, well, it's my pleasure to welcome my friend, my sister, the preacher, the speaker of the night, Pastor Dr. Onela Mujie. Um, for those who wonder, why my family spoke a lot tonight is because I have seen many people in ministry who do great work but uh, do not have support of their families. Uh, let me tell you, I can stand here and preach well. But what makes me is not what I say on the microphone. But what makes me is who I am at home. Is who I am at home. When the cameras are not on. When the microphone is not there. Is who true, truly someone is. So for my family to say things such as this to me, it is all honor. Thank you. 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 to start by first saying that I am emotional in this moment. Uh, the first reason is because I am amazed at why God would choose me in a time such as this for the things he's doing in this nation. 
icyambere nuva ntangajwe na cyo kinya mangara mutima no kuba imana yantoranya mu gihe gisa nk'iki ikanankoresha mu gihe kisa nk'iki ngiki muri iki gihugu there are other people who are way better preachers than i am hariho abandi bantu bashobora kuba ari abavuga butumwa cyangwa arababwiriza beza kunduta so for god to choose me I am not perfect. But I am faithful. I want to say that I'm also emotional. Because I am seeing old friends sitting here. Friends of my parents, people who have seen me grow up. Uh, pastors from all around Pastor Aaron Pastor Aaron Pastor Gakwaya's family Pastor Gakwaya Sam Pastor Diodone from Burundi I mean I can go around speaking each one of you and your names but I can't because of time. But I want you to know that my heart is truly grateful for you to be here. I'm thankful for the servant of God, Simon Kabera. My sister Tonzi. My brother, uh, Pastor Gabi. Uh, Patrick. I cannot thank every person who has made this possible. I will be able to thank you after this in the committee meeting. I want to thank the MC. You have done an awesome job. I want to thank uh, our coordinator, Papa Omer. I also want to thank my awesome translator. Amen. Amen. I am truly honored in this moment. Please join me in prayer in this moment. God, as I speak right now, let nothing be of me in this moment. May you speak through me like I am Jesus' microphone so speak through me today open our hearts in this moment so you can be seen and heard in Jesus name Amen, Amen. so as we spoke in Isaiah 43 verse 19 uh, if we can have the scripture back uh, on the screen, uh, as it says, I am doing a new thing. But today, when preachers, or when we speak of new things, uh, when we speak that God is going to do something new, we think of God doing some things that is physical. Uh, so we think that God is going to change something around my life. We think that God is going to fix something in our lives. Because when God says he's going to do something, you must first know who he is. I love my father. Uh, we look alike. I, I love my dad. He's awesome. But because I respect him, I cannot bring him here. 
Ariko kuko mwubaha ntabwo namuzana hano. So this man is going to represent my father. Uyu musore ruri hano agiye guhagararira papa. Let go of your hands. So my father, papa and my mother, na mama, uh, they got married. Barashakanye. And thank you for loving all your children equally. Ah kandi ndabashimira yuko mukunda abana banyu buryo ukundo rungana. So my father has always been a hard worker and a provider. Ah uh, papa rero yakomeje gutanga cyangwa se guhaza umuryango ndetse no kumukozi. Please follow me because I'm going to do a demonstration that will explain the whole idea of reset of why you're here. Ah ndashaka kugira ngo muhurikirane kuko ngiye kwangaragaza ibijyanye na reset cyangwa se guhindurwa ari yo mpamvu yitwicaje hano. Remember He's representing my father. Mwibuke yuko uyu musore hagaze hano ahagaze mu kimbo cya papa. So when I was a child, nkiri umwana, I thought like a child, nibwiraga nk'umwana and I behaved like a child. Kandi nitwaraga nk'umwana. Aha, turi kumwe. So because I was a child, kuko rero nanyiri umwana, when I fell, igihe nagwaga, my father would pick me up. Papa yarampagurutsa. When I will get dirty, igihe nanduye, he will say don't get dirty. Akambira ati ntuye nduze. Because I was a child. Kubera ko nari umwana. Because I didn't have the maturity to assess the right decisions. Kubera ko ntago nari mfite ubwenge bukuze bwo kuba nahitamo ikiza. As I was growing up, ndi gukura rero, my father was providing. Papa yarampazaga cyangwa yamaga ibyo nkeneye. And he will go to work every day to provide for us. So this represents his provision. So this hand, you can see it, you can touch it. This is the representation of provision that came from my father. But my father was not providing because he had to. Ariko papa ntabwo yamaga kubera ko ari ngombwa kumpa. He gave because he wanted to. Ahubwo yamaga kuko yashakaga kumpa. And he gave me because he loved me. Kandi nanona kama kuko yarankunze. Love urukundo heart umutima you cannot see the heart ntagushobora kubona umutima you cannot touch the heart because if i try to take his heart out kwera ko ngirageje gukura mu mutima we he would die yapfa so what i see here icyo mbona hano rero is flowing from what is here ni igitemba kiva mu mutima but what is here you can touch it ariko ikiri imbere ni wagikoraho you cannot see the amount of love my father has for me ntago wabona ingano y'urukundo data cyangwa papa mfitiye so he tries to do it the way best way he can rero agerageza gukora uburyo bwose bushoboka to do it this way kugira ngo abikore abinyujije muri ubu buryo but when i grew up ariko maze gukura and as i was maturing because he loved me there were seasons i will ask for something and instead of giving he would do this so i can focus on this than this because he's teaching me you can't always get what you want. Because when you mature, you have to understand. You must love me for who I am. And not what I give you. Because if you love me for what I give you and I don't give it to you, you will go somewhere else. That is why there are many young people today. They are growing up in age. But they are not maturing in the mind. So when the father says no, they walk away. Won't he say, I don't need you. <laughs> Listen, I have a job. I can do what I want. Because they don't understand that the instruction came out of love. 
the instruction came out of love ikibwirizwa cyavuye ku mutima love ukurukundo sorry because love does not always look like what you think love looks like kuko urukundo igiye cyose ntirusa nkuko wumvisha uyumvisha ko rusa so what does reset mean ese guhindurwa bivuze iki the the idea of reset igitekerezo cyo guhindurwa is that we have lost nuko twatakaje cyangwa twabuze the true focus of our spiritual growth we have lost the focus of our spiritual growth nuko twatakaje intumbero yo gukura ku mwuka kwacu because when god gives you instructions kubera ko iyo imana ikuhaye ibyo ugomba kugenderaho and he does not give you what you want yamara ntigu ibyo ushaka you get frustrated utangira kumva yuko namutse no 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 oh yeah pastor aron is not anointed oh yeah pastor aron nta namavuta fite let me go to another prophet de kangende kundi muhanuzi and another prophet would tell me what i want to hear hanyuma undi muhanuzi azambwe ibyo ushaka kumva and maybe that prophet would do something new in my life hawenda o muhanuzi ari kintu gicya azakora mu buzima bwanjye but i'm here to tell you today ariko ndi hano kujya nkubwira uyu munsi some things in your life will not happen because the prophet said so hari ibintu bitazigera biba kuko umuhanuzi yabivuze mu buzima bwawe because the prophet is just a messenger kubera ko umuhanuzi ni intumwa gusa he's not the one that's going to make it happen ntabwo ari we uzatuma bisohora god is the promise keeper kuko imana ni ibikisezerano god is the way maker imana niyo icizira but he sends you a message to comfort you ariko imana ikoherereza uyu butumwa kugira ngo igukomeze but it does not mean it will happen tomorrow ariko nibivuze yuko bizaba ejo because some promises come out of your faithfulness kuko hari amasezerano asohoka kuko wabaye mwizerwa Uh, I'm here to tell you today. This conference iki giterane did not happen because of the money. Ntago cyabaye kubera amafaranga. It happened because of faithfulness. Cyabaye kugo kugubwizerwa. I didn't want this this conference to happen. Ntabwo nifuza ko igiterane cyaba. I didn't want it. Ntabwo nabyifuzaga. I was in the state. Nari ndi muri America. And God said, Imana iravuga and gave me the vision of reset imana impereza iyere kwa ryo guhindurwa and he said you're going to have this conference imana irambira ngo uzakora iki giterane i said no i won't ndavuga oya oya ntago nawe i said god it takes money it takes a team it takes you have to be there to organize it i was showing god all the reason why it's impossible hanyuma ndavuga mana ntago byakunda nta mafaranga mfite bisaba abantu gutegura bisaba kumuna hibereye nerekaga imana impamvu zatuma ibyo ntabikora bagase is why are you complaining imana yavuga ngo ese ko ukirimo kwitotomba he who speaks makes things into existence imana yambira ngo uyu uvuga ni na utuma bibaho i am standing here magaze hano because of all the knows i decided to say in my life magaze hano kubera ibyo kubera oya nagiye mpakana cyangwa se nahisimo kuvuga mu buzima bwanje because people wanted me to do things i say no kubera ko abantu hari byo bashagaga ko nkora nkavuga ngo oya because righteousness kubera gukiranuka righteousness comes with the price gukiranuka bizanwa n'ikiguzi you must pay a price to walk in righteousness ugomba gutanga cyangwa ugomba kwishyura ikiguzi kugira ngo ugendere mu gukiranuka But when God spoke to me, ariko igihe Imana yavuganye nanjye, He says there is a shift happening in our spiritual dimension in this nation. Imana yarambiye ngo hariho guhindurwa cyangwa se hariho kwimuka mu buryo bw'umwuka birimo kuba mu gihugu cyacu. I am coming to reset this nation. Ndiye kuza guhindura iki gihugu to come from what people think of me to what God thinks of me. Kugira ngo abantu bave mu cyo abantu batekereza yuko Imana iki Imana ari ahubwo batekereza ko Imana yari Are we together? Wow, no one has got up and left yet. <laughs> Because uh, I'm going to try to go on these stairs. You can stand, just go with me. Because God is not what you have been taught. 
God is what you experience. So, in other words, how God is to Tonzi is depending Bivana with which level Kurguego Tonzi is at. Tonzi Ariho. So if Tonzi, Niva Tonzi, is dealing with something in her marriage. It's an example. God is going to come to her as a counselor. Because that's the type of God she needs in that moment. But if she's dealing with a business, God will come to her as a financial advisor. So God is what you experience. So if you are struggling to experience God in this moment, it's because you are going in the presence of God, but you are not humble to let God be what you need in that moment. You are not humble with your heart. Because when you wake up in the morning, you don't say, God, what do you think of me? When you wake up in the morning, what do people think about me? If they know my dad's, oh no. We are a culture that teaches people that to pretend is better than to become. Oh, let me, let, let me pretend that I'm happy. <laughs> oh, let me pretend that I have a perfect marriage. Oh, how are you fine? Oh, my wife. You see? Uh, oh, we love visitors in this song. Oh, honey, you know, please come back. At the moment people leave, you become a monster to your wife. So in this moment, God cannot heal your heart. Because when you come to heart, you pretend to be a perfect husband. In order for God to do new things, we must accept where we are broken. Is Eme Wiman here? No? He wasn't sure if he was going to make it. I don't think he's here. But this story I'm about to share with you, it happened here in Rwanda a few years ago in a parking lot of a church. And because he was there, my life changed forever. This is what happened. I was coming from a church. It was an evening. I go out with my mother. We're walking to the car. And when we get to the car, guys, remember, I am in a church. I just came, I just came from a church, right? And I realized that where we parked, someone parked in our way. Let me tell you. <laughs> Fire came through my foot. Straight. I spoke with anger. We discussed. Which type of person would do this? And as I am screaming in the parking lot because I thought no one was there. And as I turned, here is a male woman looking at me like this. He was shocked. 
And in the moment, this is what happened. I felt ashamed. But listen, the third part of this story. I wasn't ashamed because of how I was talking about that person. I was ashamed because someone saw me. I was ashamed that someone could truly see my true colors. I was getting to the point. You, it is relevant to it. And in that moment, God spoke to me in that parking lot and He changed my life. He said, You will never know how painful this feels to me as your father. That you are, you are more concerned about what people think of you than what I think of you. You are, a, you are sad that, that, that someone saw you instead of truly showing me who you are. And in that moment, I repented. And from the moment, I say, God, now every single day, I will allow you to work with me as long as I show you who I am and how I feel. So as I close, as we take the time to pray, some of you thought I would speak for five hours. But as I was sitting here, God said, I just wanted you to tell my people, no. My heart is broken. Because my people sing of me. But they do not know of me. They come when they have problems. But they do not stay with me when they praise. What? And this is what God showed me. That even ministers and pastors are tired. Because of the heaviness that comes with the cost of the calling. Because we don't allow preachers to be human. If a preacher comes in a public space, he just wants to sit. You want him to say something. You want him to pray. You want him to give you a word of life. You, he came just for peace. You want him to work. Because God... He will walk with you in your depression. If you're lonely, God will be with you in that space. Because God is our Father. He's not just a provider. So if He doesn't give you what you want, don't walk away from Him. Reset your relationship with Him. Because that means that you see God from only a selfish Perspective. I'm about to tell you something. And I'm very proud of this. I am rich. That is. I am very rich. I'm wealthy. And let me tell you how I am rich. I have so many parents and coverings sitting in this room. I have so many people I can call for advice. 
I have so many people I can share my sadness. I have many people I can call with the struggle in ministry. Because wealth is not what you have in the account. Wealth is what you have the money cannot buy. So what I'm inviting you today is that God wants us to focus in the kingdom mindset. The kingdom mindset that is not selfish about my needs. What do I want? When God called me, I was in high school. I was in America. America. It was the day I was ready to call my parents to tell them I cannot stay in America. I was depressed. I was lonely. I was very sad. It was everything was different. I was young. I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, I got on my knees and I cried with God. With God. I say, God, I'm about to call my parents. I'm going home. If I have to go to study in Byumba or Gitarama, I will go. But I can't live here. And this is what I said. I say, God of my parents, I don't know if you're real or if you're not. But right now, I do not see a future because my heart is too broken. All I want right now, take me home. I couldn't understand their English. The food was disgusting. The weather is too cold. <laughs> say, God, I need to go home. In that moment, the first time God spoke to me, I was, I was on my knees on the ground in my room at school. And for the first time, I heard God. And he said, Ornella, so I thought it was someone outside of the door. <laughs> so I opened the door and I go outside. Mm. Okay, I close again. And I heard the voice again. Ornella. And I was like, whoa, I'm going crazy. I'm hearing voices. Yo. The third time. And he said, Ornella, it's just me. And I didn't know what to say. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> and the voice said, go and pick up your Bible. And the Bible is, uh, it was given to me by a woman called Mama Sarah, who is mom's friend. We were going to the airport. She gave it to me as a gift. I didn't want to take it. But I took it because, you know, but I said, I'm going to take it, put it somewhere. So I took it and I put it somewhere. So I took the Bible because it's been so many months, there was so much dirt uh, uh, on the Bible. And then the voice said, go read in Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. 
But because at that time I didn't read the Bible a lot, I had to go in the index. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Anyuma, kwa rero ntani nasomaga Bibiliya nagombaga kujya mu mashakiro nka bwa Yesu, 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 Yesu ari I want in Joshua chapter 1 where God is speaking to Joshua to not be afraid. Do not be afraid, I will be with you. I know you are scared, but I will be with you. So I was confused. I said, okay, God, why are you giving me this for? And then God said, in this moment, I am calling you forth that you will go into ministry that you will speak of my kingdom and the good news. And in that moment, I said, God, no, never. I said, God, listen. Let's agree. Now, number one, I have my own plans of my life. Number two, I am not perfect. I have weaknesses. There are many young people who are spending hours in, 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 in revivals and overnights. Choose them at their churches. Choose someone there. You want me? I spend years giving my parents headaches. I was impossible. We know discipline. Very selfish. I said, there is no way you can use me. There, is so, there, there are people in the church who are perfect. Go choose them. Those who know the scriptures by, by head, choose them. God said, no. Do you know why I chose you? I said, I don't know why, but you're about to tell me. I said, I chose you because your heart is like mine. I said, I don't understand. He said, your heart is for the hungry and the poor. And the widows. You have fed the poor. You're, you were always trying to find ways to, to help people in their needs. That's what my kingdom is about. My kingdom is about looking at the needs of others and trying to make something better out of it. And the other things you say that you have, don't worry. With me, I will work on you. Because I am the potter. I will work on you. I will make you go through fire. But I will work on you. I will give you knowledge and wisdom. But I will work on you. My brothers and sisters, we are in a moment where God wants us to come as we are. Not for what he has, but who he is. Because when you know who he is, it is easy to wait for what he will come. Because if you know that God loves you, you know he will make you work. Amen. Amen. Someone recently, someone said to me, and they said, Pastor Onela. I said, How come you have not chosen someone to marry with? I say, oh. I say, first of all, you don't choose. God selects. Mm. 
Because every area of my life I always wait upon the Lord. Because faithfulness will create miracles in your life. It's the ability to understand that if God loves me and works for me, therefore why should I be afraid of the pressure around me? Otherwise, I do not need to respond to the pressure around me. I do not need to go to the places where everybody is going to. I need to go where God goes with me. Because I don't need the approval of man, I need the approval of God. Because the same friends who say that they're having fun with you, they're the same friends who will talk about you tomorrow. My brothers and sisters, people change, but God does not change. People forget, but God will never forget. As long as I live, I will wait upon the Lord. For his strength will be what I need in times of hardship. We need people who are A today and A tomorrow. Because the kingdom of God needs disciples who are proud to be disciples. Not people who have to, um, yeah, the Christ or, you know. Yeah. I have made this prayer for myself. I say, God, when I die, may people remember what I have done more than what I have said. And may what I do be a reflection of who you are. And I will call people to come back on the instrument as we all get up to pray. But with our prayer we're going to do today as we all stand our feet. Is to be real in this moment, in this room with God. Because to be vulnerable with God when you come and you say, God, I am tired, I am broken, and I am sad because the world is heavy on me. God will be what you need in that moment. God is not a far from you. But because of your pain, you can't feel God. Because you're depressed, you can't feel God. Because what people are saying about you, you can't feel God. Because of the pressure of the banks, you can't feel God. Because of the pressure of people around you, you can't feel God. In this moment, God says, I need people to come to me for me and not what I bring to them. How come did they trust the words of a prophet more than the words from me? Because because I am your Lord, your God. 
After you finish to drink and eat, do not forget that I am your God. After you, you have that marriage, do not forget that I am your God. After you have that new Samsung, you spend more time on on WhatsApp, do not forget that I am your God. After you have that new Samsung, you spend more time on WhatsApp, do not forget that I am your God. My heart is breaking. You have replaced me. After you have that new job, do not forget that I am your God. This nation needs to remember what God has done for it and come back to God. Pastors, you must remember who God is to you. Not to spend 30 minutes in meetings or hours in meetings talking about how to build a parking lot. Spend meetings talking about how to change the lives of those who are hungry around your church. You are more concerned about how many countries you want to go preach to. There are people around the corner of your church who are hungry. I am your God. I am your God. After you spend all that time looking at fancy stuff, remember I am your God. My heart is breaking today, tonight. You do not want my kingdom. You want the things of the kingdom. But you do not want the king. Because the things will never give you the peace you want. The king will be the prince of peace in your life. In this moment as we all stand. I want us to go in the time of prayer to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us and to heal us tonight. Because what God wants to do tonight is to bring a spirit of healing in our heart. Because some of us are angry and depressed and sad. But I'm here to tell you that our God is a healer. He's a provider. But he's a healer. In this moment, speak to God with your own words. I cannot speak for you because I don't know where you are or which level of life you're on. But for now, I just want you to forget everything else and just focus on God right now, right here. God, we call for your presence in this moment. May your heart come touch our hearts and our minds. God, bring healing in this room. People who are tired, bring healing in their hearts. People who are angry bring healing in their hearts. Bring healing. Because we know you are a healer. You are a friend. Heal the heart of ministers. Heal the heart of your children. Heal the heart of our worshippers. 
Heal the heart of our interpreters. Kizai miti ma ya semuzi. Heal the heart of our leaders in this nation. Mana kizai miti ma ya basiba chumuri chijihugu. Heal God our, our continent. Mana kizai umugamane wa chu. God, we come as we are. Na mi tujuko tudi broken. Mami tura change aguwe. Some are right now are depressed. Bamwe muri twebwa kakanya bararemerewe. Some of them are going through wilderness. Bamwe muri bari mu baragendera mu butayu. Some of them feel dry. Bamwe muri baburumva bumye bakakaye. They can hear your voice. Niwa kumvishwe ryawe. They can see your touch. Ntago babona gukorwa kwawe. But in the name of Jesus. Ari ko mwizina rya Yesu. Open the gates of heaven. Mana fungura amarembo y'ijuru. Open the gates of heaven. Fungura amarembo y'ijuru. Open the gates Gates of heaven. Oh, hallelujah, God. Move through us. Move in us. Bring back peace. Bring back hope. Oh God. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Reset our hearts. In the name of Jesus. God. Poor mana suka your anointing of healing on us suka ngami amavuta yayo kuchira kuri twebwe anointing of healing in this place suka amavuta yayo kuchira muri muri chikibanza purify our hearts ezimiti mayacu niburi hano kabukeneye gukorwaho ni imana god can teach you where you are imana yagukoraho ahuri but i will invite you to move forward ariko ndagusaba kugira ngo utambuke imbere so we can pray with you kugira ngo dusengane nawe so i can pray with you kugira ngo nsengane nawe so god can bring back something new in your life kugira ngo imana igarure ikintu gishya mu buzima bwawe Open the gates of heaven. Fungura maremba yijuru mwana. God open the gates of heaven. Fungura maremba yijuru mwana. God break every wall in our lives. Mana menagura ibihome byose inkuta zose mu buzima bwacu. Break every wall in our lives. Mana kuraho inkuta zazo zose mu buzima bwacu. God is saying that there is a spirit of pride moving in the room. Ari imani mira vuga ngo hari umwuka w'ubwibone uri muri agenda agenda hano hano pride of refusing to let go umwuka w'ubwibone umwuka wo kumva yuko utareka ikintu ngo ugihare the pride has become your friend ubwibone bwaba inshuti yawe God is saying that the spirit of pride man in mevango uwo muka ubwibone will be the reason why you will never grow close to God nuzaba intandaro yo kudakura ngo wegerane n'Imana because the bible says that those who humble themselves uko bibili yavuga ngo abicisha bugufi those who come to him in humility abaza imbere y'Imana baciye bugufi those who come to him in imperfections abaza bazanye ibitameze neza because pride kuko kubwibone is the enemy ubwibone numwanzi of courage ubwibone nubwibone numwanzi wo kwi courage courage ubwibone numwanzi wo kutera imbere cyangwa wo gusubizwa imbaraga God says that the spirit of pride must first go in our lives. Imani miravuga ngo umwuka ubwibone ugomba kubanza kugenda mu buzima bwacu. The spirit of pride would be the reason why our marriage are going to fail. Umwuka ubwibone niwo urimo gutuma ingo zacu zirimo gusenyuka. The spirit of pride is the reason why you are losing your relationship with your parents. Umwuka ubwibone ni urimo gutuma urimo gutakaza ubusabane bwawe n'ababyeyi bawe. The spirit of pride is the reason why your children cannot trust you. Umwuka ubwibone ni urimo gutuma abana bawe batakwizera. The spirit of pride. Umwuka ubwibone is the reason why God cannot speak to us. Niyo yabintandara yuko Imana itavugana natwe. Raise your hand in this moment. As I pray for you and as I pray with you. I want you to repeat as you raise your hand in faith. Repeat after me. God, mana, you are my friend. You are my healer. Life has been heavy on me. 
I have been losing peace. I have been losing my joy. I have been losing my sleep. I have been feeling lonely. But today, God, I raise my hands to you as I am. Take me as I am. Take me as I am. Take me as I am. Reset my heart. Reset my mind. So I can see you. So I can hear you. I humble myself. I humble myself. Here I am. Take me. Heal me. Restore me. Sanctify me. Purify me. Take me as I am. Give me peace. Give me joy. Let me trust you more. I receive that you have reset me all new again. You have reset my mind. You have reset my spirit. You have reset my heart. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.